tree breeders and forest geneticists have long sought means by which they could improve the efficiency, increase the gain, or reduce the cost of tree improvement through the use of genetic markers. Dramatic improvements in genomic technologies spurred by development of next-generation sequencing and high-throughput genotyping platforms have brought application clearly within reach. Coupled with continuous development of bioinformatic tools and breeding theory, our knowledge of genes and genomes in forest trees makes marker and form breeding, MIB, and gene resource management tangible options in the very near term. The group of instructional modules offered here are intended to offer a comprehensive view of how MIB and marker informed gene resource management may play an expanding role in tree breeding and ecosystem management. In 2007, the USDA NRI CSREES funded a collaborative project called the Conifer Translational Genomic Network as a CAP or Coordinated Agricultural Project. In 2009, following reorganization, the CTGN project received renewed funding from the USDA NIFA, National Institute of Food and Agriculture Program, for an additional year. It subsequently received a final year of support in 2010. CAPs are intended to provide a venue for principles involved in crop and livestock improvement to bring technology to application. This set of instructional materials is one element of our project's extension and educational commitment to translational genomics in forest trees. Additional outreach activities on this project may be viewed at our project website, http dendrome.ucdavis.edu backslash ctgn. The CTGN CAP team draws expertise from scientists and tree breeders representing five land-grant universities, the U.S. Forest Service, and the Texas Forest Service. Led by David Neal at the University of California at Davis, the team is focused on six objectives as may be noted in this slide. Scientifically, the project seeks to validate previously discovered associations between known alleles and phenotypic traits, discover new associations, and define how best to use this knowledge in applied tree breeding programs. Team members represent the four largest tree breeding cooperatives in the United States responsible for planting nearly 1.3 billion trees a year. In short, we propose to deliver marker and form breeding technology to American tree breeders by the end of the project. The associations discovered here are intrinsically applicable to natural populations as well as breeding populations of the species studied, loblolly pine, slash pine, and Douglas fir. We seek to provide fundamental information to those managing our huge publicly owned natural forest populations. Our outreach goals are to provide education and extension opportunities to a wide audience. The objectives of the instructional materials included in this online course reflect the goals of the project. Specifically, we aim to provide comprehensive introduction to the fundamental background science and technology required to understand and incorporate genetic markers in applied tree breeding and resource management. We will cover a number of topics that are, individually, the subject of entire university level courses. Obviously, our treatment will be shallow. Where possible, we will provide citations and directions on how to find further information on these topics. To facilitate ease of access to a broad audience, course materials will be provided in multiple formats and organized into modules that cover one or a few topical areas. Individual modules may thus be used as supplemental materials to university course lectures, either in their, in their entirety or chosen selectively to complement course needs. Modules will be approximately 30 pages in length and be viewed at your own pace.
The course is divided into 16 instructional modules which are organized in three categories. Foundation materials, genetic dissection of complex traits, and marker-informed breeding and other marker applications. Instruction begins with fu presentations on the fundamentals of genetics and Mendelian inheritance, Module 2, Population Genetics, Module 3, and Quantitative Genetics, Module 4, with particular references to forest trees. Module 5 introduces conventional tree breeding processes and provenance or common garden testing. A knowledge of the fundamental elements of all these areas is ultimately necessary to understand how genetic markers may be employed in tree breeding or natural population management. This section ends with a module focused on genetic marker detection and development, the essential genetic reagents for all subsequent applications. In forest trees, relatively few traits of interest to breeders or gene resource managers are simply inherited, that is, controlled by one or a few genes. Crop breeders have historically relied on quantitative genetic approaches to understand the complex traits that are of interest to them. Since the advent of molecular tools and abundant genetic markers, scientists have developed sophisticated tools such as QTL and association mapping to characterize the genetic architecture of complex traits. This section introduces the fundamental concepts of genetic, QTL, and association mapping. These lessons are preceded by a module on measuring and interpreting marker variation in which the field of molecular population genetics is introduced. The final group of modules introduce actual marker applications both in practice and in research or pilot stage testing in forest trees. Module 14 discusses means by which markers found to be in association with economic or adaptive traits may be incorporated in estimation of breeding values and selection. The final two modules address areas of research that are currently receiving a great deal of attention, genomic selection and landscape genomics. Genomic selection is viewed as an alternative to association genetics, particularly by livestock breeders, and is attracting some attention by tree breeders. Landscape genomics features association between genetic markers, or alleles, and abiotic factors such as cli climate or soil, rather than association between markers and phenotypic traits. It should be of great relevance to genetic resource managers who must ultimately deal with genetic conservation and restoration activities in the face of changing climates and loss of habitat. So welcome to the CTGN course, Genomics in Tree Breeding and Forest Ecosystem Management. We hope you find this material of interest.